Well, the first tip I want to, to show is uh, you can use ledges. If you keep pressing forward and move your camera appropriately, you can move across um, the ledge without falling. Uh, of course, you could decide to fall, but um, most people that are going to follow you uh, are going to fall uh, and they won't be able to chase you. So that's a useful one. And then there's the obvious just cutting corners. Instead of, you know, um, running around, you're saving not much, not much, but, you know, that might be the difference between, uh, I don't know, a great axe player chasing you and um, you being able to, you know, uh, get some distance over them. Uh, then again, you can still use other ledges. So you keep pressing forward, have your camera, uh, you know, facing uh, where you, you want to go as usual. And then uh, you can roll back into port uh, or just jump over that um, like barricade stuff. Um, of course, you can go under stairs. It's not as easy to do when someone's chasing you, uh, but that could always be helpful. There are a few spots also where you can kind of hide and not many people are going to chase after you. Um, or they might think that you, you go to the obvious place where, you know, it's uh, uh, on the other side of the gate if the gate is still up. But you can also, um, you know, hold the corner here. If someone's shooting at you, you might be able to take cover between those, uh, well, on top of the barrel here. Um, I believe it's not there in Wars. I'm not actually sure I should check. There are some other spots and forts where we can hide. So that, that was obviously one. Um, and try to be forgotten again. There's one that is uh, more and more popular when people are pushing into um, the middle doors. So they will hold either side. That one has more space. And so you just, um, you just hide it over here. Uh, maybe it's just enough time for you to um, go back to full health and then uh, resume pushing. Um, so yeah, that's certainly a good one. So if you fall properly, yeah, like that, you can basically fall into that hiding spot instead of falling to the ground. It might buy you a second or maybe someone's going to to lose you in the crowd and they won't see you uh, being there necessarily. If they don't have like a damage over time on you, uh, on you then it might be hard for them to keep track of you. Uh, then there's also the obvious, you can, oh, <laughs> if I can grab it, uh, you can grab uh, the ledge uh, all, um, all over here. Um, it saves you time mostly if you go in that direction because you don't have to go all the way around the course. Again, you could use that ledge to run around. And then use the stairs uh, as an obstacle if someone's chasing you. So yeah, there's also that spot. Um, so right over here, some people just hide. And of course, you attract less attention if you're crouching. Yeah, I don't know many people would be able to follow you there. Oh, and actually, yeah, I missed... Uh, I wanted to demonstrate something. So there are a few, a few spots that you can hide outside the port as a defender. Um, not for very long, because someone's going to notice you, but... So you can hide, like, right here. Nobody, nobody's going to see you unless they saw you hide there. Um, so yeah, you can do that. And I'm sure there are others, but like that's another one I know. One sec. Yeah, right there in that corner. So you can hide here. Uh, maybe you're losing control of the ramparts. Uh, you're waiting for the next wave of respawns. And the decks, uh, the opposing, uh, opposite team decks is taking control on top ramparts. Uh, I'm not sure where they could be, but anyway. And you don't, well, of course, you could hide over here, but everyone knows about um the spot over here so maybe you do something a bit different and hide in this corner so uh, that might be useful and you can again use the ledges to your advantage and move around so just keep practicing movement there are a ton of things i never see people use um i know it's very situational and you can cannot always use those uh, those uh, movement tips 
Uh, but just keep practicing and you'll see um, you're going to break some ankles and it's going to make a difference. Nope, I guess I'm too thick. <laughs> keep trying, like, you're going to learn a lot. So let's assume someone's chasing you. You have about, uh, that's eight meters of distance between them and you. So what you can do is grab... Actually, you need to step on the stairs first. Grab the ledge. Um, so if it's a melee opponent, you just want to create distance. Uh, you know, it's not rocket science. But if it's a range opponent, maybe you want to, um, you know, cut the angle. So what you do is maybe you use that to your advantage and you run behind. So maybe you have um, a second uh, to be safe. And then you force them to uh, close the gap on you. And then once they are closer, maybe you use the movement ability to grab the ledge. And by pressing forward on the ledge, you, you can run around. And then uh, they have to decide if they chase you from you know that, that, uh, that direction, where I came from. Or maybe they try to wait for you on the other side. But uh, if they do that, then you can always drop, um, go down there. Or you can pop back up over here. So... It's very tricky and it's hard for people to follow you. And then you can, of course, use the, um, uh, you know, that part to jump over. You can um, run around the stairs, those stairs to use the boxes to get back up if you want. Um, again, behind the stairs, behind the barricade. I mean, th there's a ton of stuff that you can do. So just practice your movement around the tower. I'm not sure you want to call that. Um, but yeah, just keep practicing movement. Uh, you're going to break some ankles. You're going to survive more often. Um, and you might even be able to get some kills if you're very sneaky uh, by doing that. Because people will forget about you if you if you hide like I did um, on the ledge. So, just one sec, going back there. So let's say you stand there. Or, I don't know, 5-10 seconds. Uh, and yeah, of course, you can shoot people. Uh, um, going in the back. Actually, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can. So, yeah, it's it's an angle that nobody's going to expect in a war. Um, if, you're in defense, uh, if you're on defense, of course. Um, but yeah, just keep playing around the port. You're going to find some, some crazy spots that... Nobody's using, and because nobody is using them, they're not even aware that they exist, and you're going to gain an advantage just using those. Um, some of my favorites actually are defensive spots. Um, so when I, whenever I, I play decks, which is eh, always in worms, um, and maybe I'm losing control of the ramparts, the other team's decks, or I, I don't know that their kill squad is, is pushing and you know flushing everyone up of the ramparts. Um, so yeah, there's of course the ledges as I showed that you could you could use, and they have to decide if they follow you or just leave you alone because well it's annoying to get there and they might lose their position. Um, or um, what you could also do, uh, you know, ex uh, apart from using obvious spots that pretty much everyone knows, like behind those boxes, you can hide it in some of the corners in the fort and. Uh, I swear it's like having a, a, a an invisibility cloak. Like nobody checks for um, those corners, uh, like the inside uh, corners of the fort, because someone should um, who's you know respawning at C flag. Uh, well, that's A flag and C gate. I uh, I should say. So someone respawning there, going to C gate, is not going to you know uh, look over there. He's looking. Uh, at, at his team position over here. Maybe he's distracted by people on the rain, rain parts where I am right now. Um, but he really doesn't, um, you know, care about that, that spot. It's, it's actually, I don't want to say hidden, but, you know, it's, it's not a large angle that you have uh, to see someone hiding here. And so if someone's responding from C point, they won't uh, take like that weird angle to look over there like nobody nobody hides there um but more people should in my opinion obviously you won't uh, you won't be using those corners often and you would only use them if you're really getting pressured 
Um, but it's always good to have them in mind. Um, yeah, you crouch best forward in the corner. And for some reason, this one is trickier to use than the other. I don't know why. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm very much aware that everything I just shared is very situational. Uh, sometimes it's useful once per war, sometimes it isn't. <laughs> it really depends on the other team. If they know uh, of some of, um, of those hiding spots, then they will look for people hiding in those hiding spots. But if they don't, um, then it might be uh, some opportunity for you to survive or, I don't know, get your potions cooled on off um, while being safe or just being forgotten when you're on top rim parts, but you're still losing the control of the top rim parts and uh, you want to pop back uh, on top of rim parts instead of losing all the control, control you had. Anyway, uh, I just hope uh, that it was helpful for you and um, uh, hopefully you're going to be able to break some ankles and win some more. <laughs>